updates, followed by questions for Coach. Uh, if you just raise your hand, we'll bring the microphone to you, and then please state your name and affiliation. Be appreciated. Uh, here with top-seeded UMass Lowell head coach Norm Bazin, senior forward Riley Wetmore, junior defenseman Chad Ruedel, and junior forward Joseph Pendenza. Uh, the Riverhawks will take on fourth-seeded Wisconsin Friday at 4.30. Uh, the Riverhawks just won their first ever Hockey East Tournament Championships. They enter with a record of 26-10-2. They're 23-1 since Christmas. That's the top mark in Division I. And this is UMass Lowell's fifth Division I NCAA tournament appearance with an all-time record of 3-4-1. They've been to three straight NCAA quarterfinals, including last season when they defeated Miami of Ohio in overtime. I will start with general comments from Coach. Well, we're very excited to be here. It's um, <clears throat> it, it's great for our school to uh, allow River Rock Nation to follow us uh, within close proximity to the Songus and Lowell. It's uh, it, it's a unique experience for some of our guys. For a lot of them, it's the first opportunity at NCAA. And then we're looking forward to the games. Thanks, Coach. Questions for the student athletes. Uh, this question from Riley Jim Conley from US College Hockey Online. Riley, can you talk about how the difficulty of maybe changing the goaltender, having such a great goaltender last year, and then having to switch over to an even better one this year? You know, maybe the difficulty in just having you know Doug. See Doug work so well last year, but not have him here this year in the number one slot. Yeah, um, well, it wasn't really that difficult at all. I mean, Doug's <clears throat> great off the ice. He works with Connor um, at the beginning of the season. They were working together all the time. So it wasn't really a hard transition for us. We knew they were going to compete in practice to see who was a better goalie or see who was on that day. Um, and it's just worked out for us uh, throughout the year. Thompson, Boston Herald. Chad, uh, why are you guys difficult to score against? I noticed you're first in scoring defense in the league, uh, on top of the goalie, obviously. Um, I think we take a lot of pride in our defense, um, starting from the goalies on out, all through our D core and our forwards help out a lot in the D zone. I think it's just uh, it's something you got to take pride in. Um, you can't just play offense. It's a two-way game, and I think if you focus on your defense, the offense will come second. Josh Siegel, College Hockey News. Uh, Joe, can you talk about your season uh, leading the team in scoring? Uh, yeah, I mean, leading the team in scoring isn't really something you come into the year thinking that's going to happen. Uh, more so, I was thinking just wanted to have another successful year and try and make it back to the NCAAs, have another good run in Hockey East. And I've been uh, lucky to have two great line mates in A.J. White and Josh Holmstrom. We really clicked. Uh, we start off defensively. We play strong defense, and that usually leads to offense. And uh, the, both of them have been really helped me out in getting uh, the success I've had, and I really couldn't have done it without them. More questions for the student athletes? All right, you three are dismissed. Thank you. Questions for Coach Bazin. Uh, Norm, you, I heard in the conference call the other day you said maybe 500 to 1,000 fans, but given the, the attendance you guys had at the Garden last week, do you want to maybe refine those estimates? I, I feel like there's just a, maybe a little bit more that's going to be here this weekend. Yeah, I guess I haven't uh, <clears throat> dove into the uh, statistics with our, our sports information or anybody else for that matter. I, uh, I'm excited to see any blue jerseys uh, come through and, and support our team. Um, you know, as far as how many will be here in the end um, remains to be seen. They're having a viewing party at the Songus Arena Center for those uh, not able to come out to Manchester. So it's going to be exciting one way or another, and I'm sure we'll have lots of support. I'm Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Could you just reiterate on what Chad was saying about the team's commitment to defense? Well, I, I think it's been very good, especially in the second uh, season. The stretch drive for us um, had to start right before Christmas simply because uh, we had dug ourselves a hole and we had to uh, dig out of it. We did. Nobody made excuses for it. I think we've got two capable goaltenders. We've got a fairly good decor, uh, bigger than it was last year. We added some girth, some size, and we feel we're better suited for these playoff-style games. Um, the forward lines 
I think we've got four second lines. You know, I can't tell you who's going to be our best line tomorrow. I can't tell you who's going to be our weakest. But I can tell you they all they all play hard, and uh, we hope to, to bring our A game tomorrow. Um, can you talk about your junior class? It seems to be a lot of what you do tends to key on those guys. Yeah, it depends what game you've seen. Um, it's a talented class. I, I, I like all of them. Um, however, you know, you do have a, a sprinkle of nine freshmen in there. And then we've got between one and two seniors playing on any given game. So um, to say that it's, uh, it depends on the, freshman, uh, the junior class only, I, I would disagree with that. However, uh, they're an important part of the whole piece, uh, the whole puzzle for sure. Can you also talk about uh, Joe Pendenza's play this year? Seems to be pretty good for you guys. Yeah, Joe is uh, an important cog for us. He's uh, uh, matched up against a lot of good lines in hockey East and, and non-conference play also. He's been better as the year has progressed because he's paid more attention to uh, team defense. And uh, he will continue to get uh, better um, the more he concentrates on defense. And that's not to say he's not a good defensive player. He's just... Uh, paying more attention to it, and as he does, his offense is increasing because of it. Stops again. Just talk about rolling four lines with that kind of confidence you just said. You know, Could you just elaborate a little more on that? Sure. I, I, um, for us, it's not about a magic uh, first or second line. It's about uh, total team effort. And we're able to, to do some pretty special things for the UMass Lowell and our hockey organization this year because we've really been able to come at teams with multiple uh, lines. And uh, these TV timeouts throw a wrench into things at times. But uh, when there's no timeouts, we're able to sustain momentum. And, uh, and that's been a big key for us this year. Last year, you guys made it to the uh, regional final. How important will that experience be for you trying to move maybe a little further this year? Yeah, it certainly can't hurt. I think there's several guys that haven't had that same experience uh, of last year, but we're, we're going to key on uh, learning from that experience. You know, I think you learn uh, as much from failures as you do success stories. And uh, last year we felt we, uh, we came out strong and uh, we probably didn't sustain a whole 65 minute effort uh, both nights. And this year our goal is to play two very good hockey games and hopefully we get a chance to play a second. Yeah, Scott's been good. He, he started off slow, um, much uh, like a lot of other people on our team. He, he didn't have the start he was probably looking for. However, he's come on uh, strong of late and uh, he's given us some timely goal scoring. You know, you saw last uh, week uh, against Providence. He, uh, he comes up with a timely play and uh, is able to execute. And uh, he's an important player for us. I think there's very uh, little, uh, very few, I should say, difference makers in any league. Hockey seems to have uh, its share, and I would put him in that category of uh, possible difference makers. Uh, Norm, last week, we watched in the title game. I kept hearing Craig Janney call your team an NHL-style club that you guys were constructed like an NHL team. Do you agree with that? And did that go into some of your recruiting this year? Yeah, truthfully, I haven't watched those games yet, um, those Nesson feeds. So I didn't hear that uh, reference or, or that comparison. Um, did it go? We're looking to build a, the best college team we can. And if it's compared to a uh, pro team, um, so be it. However, uh, you know, we play in the, the college level and uh, at no point do we think we want to we want to recruit pros because usually those guys leave after a year maybe two um, we have uh, i think the majority of our guys who are very very good college players and uh, who play well under a system who play well within a, a framework of playing hard for each other and that's why i think it's been the biggest difference here in the last 10 games is um they're playing very hard for each other, and they're, they have tremendous pride in their school, and it's been uh, showing. Further questions for Coach? Just comment on Wisconsin. It looks like they're very strong five-on-five. Five. What do you expect from them? 
Well, we expect an excellent hockey team, uh, an excellent game. Uh, you know, we know they're an excellent hockey team. They, they've got strong goaltending, uh, strong team defense. You, you could say we're very similar in many, many ways. Um, they've had a good stretch in the second half, uh, you know, as have we. So it should, uh, it should be an excellent hockey game. How the, the game is going to unfold, you know, that's why people pay some money to come and see the games. They're exciting. It's going to be a, a tremendous atmosphere. I think, uh, if nothing else, uh, New Hampshire and Lowell are going to bring a, a lot of fans, and it should make for an exciting atmosphere for all the student athletes. And that's what really it's all about. Any final questions for Coach? Thank, Thank you, Coach. If anyone has any uh, media requests outside of this room, they can direct those to Chris O'Donnell.